All right. Hi there. My name is Vladimir Uspensky, and today we have another boogie woogie lesson. I have this playlist where you can find more boogie woogie for left for right hand. And if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go. It's in C, okay? One, two, one, two, three, four. Left hand, I'll play it here. In this video, and in the description I'll put the link, uh, in that video I've already shown this left hand, so I'll do it fast today. Let's go, it's first step. The same movement, the same figure. So it's fourth, fourth, two bars, and then again to the first. Two bars. Now, fifth, the same figure. And two more of the first. Okay, and what's important about the right hand? It's a rit rhythm feeling, this groove feeling when you make some accents like this. Let's play it here and you'll, you'll see. Even if I play it slow, like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's left hand. Now the right hand. It's this third. We play it in C, yes? So we have this third. And we play all the, the whole thing. All those notes. We do it like this. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so very easy. Now we go to the fourth. We do almost the same, but here we have. Look, it, it was here. It was this small third. Here we have the big one, large one. Yeah. Yeah. And we go again from fourth to the first. We have the same one. Now fifth. Yeah, the same movement like it was in the fourth, and then the last f first. So let's play the whole thing. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do the slow version. One, two, three, four. Or What's now? Now we can do the same thing but with thirds. Listen, that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay.
sorry for that improvisation that was uh, out of my control. So let's let's take a look on those thirds. So we have got here. We can uh, try to choose different fingers here, it's good, but here we can, for example, continue with the same fingers, or we can change to this one, or we can start with this and then go immediately to this, like this. It depends on your decision and on the logic of, of playing. I play like this. Okay, now we go to the fourth, what we have here. It's a bit complicated, right? like this one, this third, then this, and this. So it's like this. I hope you, I hope you see it. And uh, then we go to the first, it's the same. And now the fifth. So it's like this, the same like on the fourth. Oh no, no, it's not the same, it's a bit, a bit different. Yeah, you see. And then we go to the first again. That's it. So let's play it slow, the, the right hand only. One, two, three, four. Now, the last thing for today, it's this uh, variation thing. If we can play this, uh, we can add here something like a chord and not play it like, like this, but play it like this, for example. Or, for example, see a lot of possibilities and another possibility if we add to this phrase one more note before like instead of playing one two three four wa -pa -da, wa -pa -da, from the accented beat from the main beat we start to play before to da do to to da do to to da do do to to da do do to da do do to da the rhythmic changes but because we cannot uh, put it here, there are already four notes, four eights, but we can do a triplet and then it will uh, sound like this. So that's about variations. Okay, uh, that was Boogie Woogie, I don't know the name, it's just Exercise Student Boogie Woogie. Uh, I've, I've created it, but I, I'm sure uh, it was created even before. So, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you tomorrow. Okay.